Hey, what's going on guys? What's happening YouTube? You have tuned into Rules for Rebels and in today's video we're going to be talking about eBay abandoning their Shopify app five years after launch. The Shopify app for eBay that connects eBay and Shopify stores is going to be going away. It will no longer be on the Shopify app store, nor will it be working after January of 2023. So we're sitting in October, uh, October, November, December. You got about three months, a little bit less than 90 days uh, to find another solution. Now, uh, this is kind of crazy when you think about it. eBay is a nearly 30 year old company, right? The, the company's what, 27 years old. I think they launched in 1995. Uh, eBay is worth over $20 billion. And part of the reason that they're abandoning this app is because, uh, the app has been abysmal. It's been a joke. I think it's got two stars on the Shopify app store. Um, it doesn't sync products correctly. It doesn't manage your inventory correctly. And apparently they've been unable to uh, fix or correct it. You know, it's kind of crazy right now. Kind of the big push for e-commerce businesses is, you know, quote unquote, omni-channel. Uh, it's not good enough just to sell on eBay. It's not good enough just to sell on Amazon. Uh, it's not even good enough just to have a Shopify store. You kind of need to be selling on all of these platforms. Uh, obviously, Shopify is the leading platform. I'd say probably, you know, I guess some people would say uh, WordPress is, is the leading platform. WordPress has the most websites on it. But in terms of dedicated e-commerce platforms, I would say Shopify is the leading platform. Uh, big commerce, not really a close second. Uh, but you would think a company like eBay would want to have something on Shopify uh, that will help people connect their eBay and Shopify stores and not just rely on third parties to uh, kind of manage a segment of the market, especially since even the third party apps aren't that great. But how crazy is that? How crazy is it that eBay, a nearly 30 year old company, eBay is like what, 27, 26, 27 years old. They launched in 1995. eBay is worth over $20 billion dollars. And they can't even put together a functioning Shopify app. I mean, there's, you know, one guy, single developers working out of their spare bedroom who are able to put together effective apps and eBay can't put together a Shopify app that that works. And apparently they have no desire to even come up with a solution. So, <coughs> excuse me. One other thing that's kind of surprised me, this this story has not really been talked about at all. Um, there's literally two stories on all of the Internet that I could find. Uh, one is on what website are we on right now? Uh, one story is on e-commerce bytes. Um, and there's just kind of another quick mention on the Zendesk website. Uh, we're going to give both of these articles uh, a quick read. And at the end, um, I'll throw out a couple of alternative solutions for you guys. If you have a, uh, a Shopify store connected to eBay and uh, you use eBay to sell some of your goods, uh, eBay abandons the Shopify app five years after launch. eBay is pulling its app from the Shopify app store five years after launching. It was an easy way for merchants on the Shopify platform to list their items on its marketplace. It appears that for many months, the app was failing to synchronize listings between the two platforms. News of the eBay's app demise appears on a back appeared on a backend page on Zendesk on October 4th. It isn't clear that eBay or Shopify has proactively notified sellers of the change. Uh, they haven't. I use the uh, the eBay Shopify app for uh, one of my own stores and also a number of clients. Haven't gotten any emails or any notifications. And like I said, it's not even really being talked about online very much. In fact, anyone visiting the Shopify app store as of Thursday would be unaware that if they began using the app, it would only be available to them for two months unless they took the time to read the recent reviews from users. In the announcement, Zendesk titled, On January 1st, 2023, the eBay app on Shopify is scheduled to be discontinued. eBay encouraged sellers to find another app to use if they wish to continue to post their Shopify-hosted items on eBay. What it didn't say is that third-party apps charge fees. Now, there are a couple of these apps that are only like 15 19 bucks a month. Uh, I've used a number of these. I really haven't been happy with any of them thus far for eBay. Um, I've also used some of them for the uh, Walmart Marketplace as all. Well. Walmart Marketplace as well. I've used Cellbrite, wasn't really th thrilled with it. Uh, CED Commerce or Said Commerce, whatever it's called, wasn't really thrilled with that one either. Uh, all of them have caused issues for me with uh, not tracking inventory correctly, uh, not syncing listings, not communicating eBay orders over to Shopify and turning them into Shopify orders. Responding to questions on the eBay discussion boards about the app's fate as of Wednesday, eBay manager Brian Burke said the reason for pulling the app at the end of the year was the seller experience. 
Uh, the top third-party seller provider apps are rated higher than the EBSH eBay Shopify app. That's an understatement. eBay Shopify app has a 2.7 out of 5 rating, uh, though some of the low reviews came in after the announcement. Uh, what is clear from perusing older reviews is that the app had been failing to sync inventory for quite some time, uh, which is one of the primary purposes of an integration app in the first place. A seller who left a review in June said, in part, the main problem is a lack of sync with eBay items when items are sold and paid on eBay. They are not appearing as orders in Shopify, which means we are offering items for sale on Shopify and other sales channels, Facebook, Instagram, etc., that have already been sold. Also, you know, a lot of people who have these integrations don't necessarily monitor eBay on a daily basis. Uh, so you potentially have orders coming in that you're not shipping and fulfilling because they're not being communicated over to Shopify. Uh, this is especially true if you have like a high volume store and you're not just selling an item a day, two items a day, five, ten items a day. Uh, in response on Wednesday, eBay's Burke said in part, we encourage sellers to check out these alternatives or manage your listings and orders directly on eBay. Check out the top rated 3PP apps on the Shopify app store uh, or these listing the following third party apps, Cadisto, said commerce, Inkfrog, Cellbrite. Uh, and Magna Lister. Uh, I've tried said, uh, said Commerce, uh, Cellbrite, and Inkfrog. Uh, haven't really been thrilled with those. Uh, Cadisto and uh, Magna Lister uh, are ones I might check out, uh, but those ones do start at $75 a month. Uh, so unless you have an established business that's actually making uh, some pretty decent money, specifically on eBay, it may or may not be worth even you know getting set up there. Um, also for smaller time sellers getting started, that may be cost prohibitive. And uh, another thing, you know, with some of the stores that I manage and things like that, eBay is a nice little add-on. It's nice to have, you know, some orders coming through there. It's a great way to expose people to your business who normally shop on eBay. Um, but, you know, if eBay isn't making up a significant portion of the orders you're getting, it may or may not be worth spending $75 a month. Uh, on the Shopify discussion board, some sellers were unsure of what to do, and some said the onus was on Shopify to come up with a free solution. Uh, a seller using the handle Couch Francois wrote, Very disheartened to hear that eBay is dropping the eBay Shopify app. It puts my shop in a conundrum. I sell trading cards, so lots of small transactions and many listings and many listings. By far, the majority of sales are on eBay, not in my Shopify storefront. Solutions like Codisto would be cost prohibitive since I have a large amount of small under $10 item orders. Uh, I guess I could write some code on my own to do the work, but I'm not sure I'll have enough time between my real job and side gig to write it in less than three months. Anyone else in the same boat? If so, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Would love if Shopify wrote an eBay integration app. If not, the business decision might need to be I just go back to eBay only and drop Shopify. I love the customization I can do here, uh, but if 95% of the sales are in eBay, uh, I guess he, he's going to drop it. Uh, in 2017, when eBay announced the app, well, not the app. Was it around 20? Okay, yeah. Uh, eBay is focused on de delivering the best choice and selection of inventory to buyers across the globe. This new integration with Shopify will bring even more great products to eBay buyers while offering Shopify merchants the ability to seamlessly drive their business and brand at scale by tapping into our vibrant marketplace. Sellers may well wonder what's changed since then. Does eBay now see Shopify as a competitive threat? Uh, is it that eBay technology doesn't play well with others? Uh, and do we have any comments? Let's see. Someone here says, uh, my guess is eBay system is too glitchy to work consistently with third party tools and any API is doomed to fail as the eBay system seems to have micro outages almost constantly. Uh, so if you're selling items during one of these, it won't end on the other systems as the API fails. Uh, tried an API with eBay on a site called Dell camp years ago, and it was dreadful, uh, with items failing to end on both sides. Uh, the fault was with eBay. If you doubt it, try any bulk edit on eBay and you will quickly get a message saying the number of items have failed uh, due to server error. I have run into that. Uh, one, on one of the rare occasions, eBay is telling the truth. So, um, you know, could it be that eBay views Shopify as competition? Possible. Uh, could it be that eBay is just kind of a mess and uh, can't integrate with third parties? Also possible. Uh, let's over here head over and take a look at the Zendesk article just because it, it's really brief and it, it gives a little bit more concise and concrete information on what to do, although everything we, we kind of talked about was kind of already covered. Uh, on January 3rd, 2023, the eBay app on Shopify is scheduled to be discontinued. 
Uh, on January 1st, 2023, the eBay app on Shopify is scheduled to be discontinued. Here's what you need to know. What does this mean for you? Uh, the eBay app will no longer be accessible after December 31st, 2022. To continue managing your eBay listing through Shopify after that date, you will need to migrate to a third-party app. Uh, of course, you can always manage your listings on the eBay site directly at any time. Uh, but again, if, you, if you're playing the omni-channel game, you're selling on eBay, Amazon, Walmart, and other platforms, uh, it's just so much easier to have everything sync through Shopify, have all the orders come through Shopify, and only have to manage one platform. Uh, what if you do nothing? The eBay app will continue to function as normal. Uh, okay, we already covered that part. Did we? Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, what does this mean? Okay. What are the third-party options? There's a robust selection of third-party apps that connect eBay and Shopify, the top rated offerings on the Shopify app store is Codisto. Uh, others of note include Omnivore, Inkfrog, Inkfrog, Sedcommerce, and Cellbrite. Custom apps are also available from a number of solution providers. Simply click on the links in this article to learn more about migrating to any of these options. Uh, so I'll go ahead, I'll link in the description box below to uh, each one of these options if you guys want to check them out. Uh, I'll link you over to the uh, the Shopify uh, app pages for them. Uh, are any of you guys using the eBay app to integrate your eBay listings into Shopify? Uh, what has your experience been with the app? Uh, have you found a good 30, third party solution? Uh, and what are you planning on doing? Uh, drop a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys as I'm sure others would as well. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are not already subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe button down below and ring the bell. Uh, and I will catch you guys on the next video.